Okay, in this section, uh, we're going to cover a little bit more of the advanced operation of submasters on your Express console. Uh, there's actually a little bit more that you can do with your submasters simply than just putting in a look and running them up and down on the fader. There are actually different types of uh, submasters that you can that you can do, um, and we want to cover those now. And uh, it's similar to how we use the type uh, command to change the cue to an effect or a subroutine. The submaster also has uh, different types, so let's let's cover some of those things. So we do this in blind. So let's go into blind, and I'm going to pick submaster two. And what I'm going to do here's, of course, my command prompt will say uh, press type. I'm going to hit the type key, which conveniently is right next to sub. Uh, and I have basically three types of subs. Pylon is the main default mode of a submaster. Pylon is very simple. Um, it's you know you bring a sub up, it brings up channels. If you bring up another sub, that just piles on all the channels on top. Um, so that's how we've, we're used to running submasters in, is in pylon mode. Uh, the second type is inhibitive. And what an inhibitive submaster is, is it's like a selective grandmaster. So I can choose what channels I want in the sub, and then that submaster has to be all the way up in order for those channels to be on. So it's kind of like um, a little mini grandmaster. So let's talk about uh, making an, an inhibitive submaster at this point. So what I want to do first is I want to say uh, that it's subtype. I'm going to pick two. Now you'll see here in my uh, attribute bar that the type is now inhibitive. And now I can pick channels just like I normally would. Uh, let's just say channels 1 through 10. And I can hit them at full. But you notice that the level full isn't going to show up because in an, in an inhibitive submaster there really aren't any levels. I'm just choosing what channels I want to inhibit. So 1 through 10 are showing IN uh, for inhibit and I'm going to record this enter. And now you'll see that the, the light in the button is flashing, which indicates that I have to push the submaster handle all the way up. That handle has to remain up if channels 1 through 10 are going to be turned on. So I'll show you how this works. And let's say I go to a queue, maybe Q12 for instance, which actually has channels 1 through 5 recorded in it. But if I pull down the handle on submaster 2, you'll see that those levels begin to, to be inhibited. And it's proportional. So the submaster has to be all the way up to the to the to full to allow those channels to be at their recorded values. Now an inhibitive sub will inhibit channels from a queue. Other submasters, it really doesn't matter. Just remember that that submaster has to be all the way up in order for those channels to be on. So it's a way of mastering a few channels. The other type of sub that we can do, I'm going to go back into blind and pick sub three. Hit the type key. Type 3 is an effect. Now we already built an effect, uh, a basic effect, in the, in the basic course and we'll be covering more advanced effects in a different section. But I'm basically just going to go to um, an effect I already had built uh, in one of my cues and I'm just going to hit record and I'm going to hit the bump button uh, over here at Submaster 3 which basically means I've copied the information from my cue that I had the effect into the sub. Now what this means is I go back to my stage display, clear out the cues. Now when I push that submaster up, I'm actually uh, running an effect. So I have the ability to run an effect on that submaster as well. But notice because it's the same channels, I have to have my inhibitive, uh, because it's, it's channels 1 through 10, I have to have the inhibitive submaster up at full. Uh, so those are the three types of submasters that you can have, pylon, inhibitive, and effect. Uh, there's also uh, different modes of the buttons themselves, the bump buttons themselves. By default, they're what we call, they're enabled, and they, the way an enabled bump button functions is when I push the bump button, essentially it just flashes the lights uh, to full. So you can see that as long as I'm pushing the button down, the lights are at full, so I have the ability to flash that. Um, I can disable that as well, um, but if I go into sub uh, in blind and pick sub 1, to change the status of the bump button, I can go to more soft keys, and on the second page of soft keys, I have bump status, which is soft key number 1, and I have uh, three options. <clears throat> I can have an enabled, which will do uh, what I just showed you. When you push the button, it'll flash the lights. I can disable the button so that it does nothing when you push the button. Or I can make it solo, and I'm going to go ahead and make it solo right now. And now what that bump button will do, I'm going to go ahead and run my cue again. Bring up my inhibitive submaster. And now when I hit the bump button in solo mode, it basically brings that sub on and turns everything else off. So it's like really just making it solo. It's like the only thing you want. And once I release the button, everything goes back to normal. So those are your three bump modes. So we again, we have three submaster types. We have pylon, 
which is just pile on, uh, normal default mode of submasters, inhibitive, which is like a selective grandmaster, and an effect. And we also have three modes for the bump buttons, enabled, disabled, or solo mode. And those are uh, some of the advanced uh, submaster uh, functionality available to you on your Express console.